Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam and today I'm going to be setting up the mold for a cedar strip canoe. The mold provides a structure for the shape of the canoe. It kind of acts like a big plywood skeleton that you wrap the cedar strips onto. I cut my molds out of the cheapest 3 quarter inch plywood I can find and then mount them onto this long skinny table called the strong back. I didn't want to rebuild my strong back, so I didn't make an instructional video for building one. I figure making a strong back is a good litmus test to see if you're ready to build a canoe. You can really make it however you want. It's just got to be super straight, sturdy, and a little bit shorter than the length of your canoe. I'm using the plans for a 15 foot bob special. I ordered the plans from noahsmarine.com. They sent me this paper with the full size shapes of all the forms on it. I made a copy on a thicker paper and then cut that in half to use as a template. You need two of each size mold, so I screw two pieces of plywood together, put a perpendicular line up the middle from the base, and then starting with the biggest one, I trace one half onto my plywood, flip it over, and trace the symmetrical other half. Then I trim my template to the next smallest mold and repeat this process till I have all my forms drawn out. When I have all my forms drawn out, I cut them on a jigsaw, then unscrew them. You should also have a stem mold pattern in your plan. I made another copy of the plans, then I cut this shape out separately than the other molds. Once I have all the molds cut, I sand out all the saw marks on the edges. The next step is to mount the molds onto the strong bag. I snap a chalk line down the middle, then I mount two by two blocks at one foot intervals, leaving about five inches on each end of the table. I mount the end pieces first, then I clamp this little thing to the stem mold so that I can tie a string from one end to the other. Now I'll mount the rest of the molds and use my chalk line and the string to make sure all my molds are centered. So that's how I set up my molds to build a cedar strip canoe. I really take my time to make sure everything's cut and mounted as perfectly as possible. The better you set yourself up in these early stages, the less trouble you're going to have down the road. Also, it's important to remember to put masking tape along the edges of your molds before you start gluing the cedar strips on, otherwise you're going to accidentally glue your cedar strips to the molds. Thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. Don't forget to hit subscribe.